let me continue with something which is a continuation of what I had spoken in the last two lectures. So, it started with this what you saw there <laughs> actually exists. Can you believe this is exactly what that designer tried to draw ahead of its fabrication. All the elements are carefully taken in this one of them by looking at the portion here you directly can make out that this is where you probably are expected to put a cup and then after uh, what you call putting on the top of a hot surface like a hot plate or uh, probably this is also induction compatible now you get coffee there and it does not stop there you see here there is something here which is double sided. Why cannot we have a two? <laughs> and I do not know there is a clip here and uh, what is the purpose of the clip and right from the two you can put two people and then uh, you and your friend can have it. It is not a very recent thing it has been around for a long time Italian espresso coffee maker and then you see the sketching and all this. I think I have made my point now saying it is a sketching that causes all this to, to make a picture I do not know whether uh, actually it is standing vertical or uh, there is a wooden uh, uh, thing at the back and so on. This is how it is used this is slightly already you know modern there is, is elements of slightly different thing here you see here base looks a little different and then you have two beautiful cups and then uh, there is a stopper at the back and then uh, coffee comes out of it. All this has come out from the designer's concept stage, not easy. That is where this conceptualization and sketching what you want to have seems to be the core of whatever we talk. Well, that is done for an object. You see here, we all of us are familiar with this. Uh, fantastic thing ah mac titanium power book 15 inch uh, so on and so on and then you see here just to show what all he has it shows here we have a palm uh, what you call device and then there is a what you call how you put things inside this is the oh, once upon a time analog now everything has become digital on the other side all these analog tools have also become digital. Now, luckily for us you can continue sketching take your mobile phone probably after your sketch is ready take a picture of it and then once you take a picture of it you can you can put an overlay on it you can you see we have a camera here you can put it on top and then take a picture and after that you can start sketching on top of the picture. So, you can add features which otherwise you cannot have. Now, coming back to this uh, slide here you will see that you see here every little detail what you want to do is all put here power book DO 230 looks nice is it not the just spontaneously that uh, they have included this on the thing a eh, more and more and more. So, right now no luckily we have the any type of a tablet you can download the apps and try to make more and more of it. Now, I will show you one of the earliest uh, concepts of a computer. Now, we get into the idea saying is it the <laughs> is it a real product that has been uh, sketched which came first the chicken or the egg saying there is a sketch come first and then the product came in this case you clearly see that uh, this is just a sketch they have added things later, but then you may be thinking about sir how can they add all these features they have something here like a heat sink and then they have a keyboard then they have a printer and so on. Usually people gather all this information over various times then try to make things you have seen this no oh 
are older and older computer they were big <laughs> and it has a <laughs> beautiful disk drive that is you put a floppy drive on uh, the side of it. If you remember the old this computer no it looked flat there is a small elevation here a small elevation and then the things are there why not make it flat and make it a fold away display. So, you see here we have a beautiful fold away display here you have seen this here then there is a hinge and there is probably a stopper here the stopper and this hinge and all that makes it flat and flat and flat. For creating ideas so many of these are there saying art streaming and then doodling breakdown. I will give you with the if possible the updated links the original uh, uh, what you call PPT which I am using has the links they are very interesting things here you have seen this building creative things you know day in the life of very important no. This is when when I tell you that there is something called design thinking that is being used everywhere unlike analytic thinking where uh, you already have some amount of an existing product you want to optimize it by playing around with a few of the parameters. Design thinking starts with how will the user have use for the product which are the features. So, that is where we have this saying see what happens in the life of a, a student since some most of your students are uh, you are curious enough to follow these lectures you will notice that all the time people want to run get up and run. So, we have clocks then if you go to instructables you have an Arduino clock which runs a selective time. Selective time is from the day starting from say 9 to 1 o'clock is the what do you call uh, pre lunch session it goes faster. So, by about quarter to 1 it already shows it is 1 o'clock. So, the teacher uh, hopefully leaves the class and then we have a half an hour lunch here. So, that uh, by 1 30 within that small time of 1 to 1 30 the thing speeds up and very quickly it shows a different time by the time you come back to class at uh, say 2 o'clock it about seems to be running between 1 and 1 30 it takes 45 minutes to run it about seems to be running ok like that as you come slowly to the evening again it speeds up. So, you have a speeded up clock slot down in the middle for your lunch so that you can get a slightly longer lunch it is not that actually eat anything to get to the spot to eat and come back next time. And then on the other half second half again it speeds back total what you spend may be here about 9 hours, but you get what you are entitled for. So, at the bottom you can see here all these various things which you can make use of it including role play become other people let them solve the problem saying if I were to be a teacher what is my problem I cannot make out whether the children are connected with uh, I meant the <laughs> participant in the session are connected with me or not. If they are not connected the what do you call uh, the people who are little faster on the take they will lose interest they quickly get bored people are slow on the uptake or would like to spend things in detail they do not they think it is too fast. So, somewhere is there a via media or something I repeat things. So, oh it keeps on going we have this divergence convergence and so on. So, we come back again to the display of all these keyboards so on thing ah, we have a beautiful fold up portable CPU computer. You remember in the first or second presentation I showed you a multimeter which can be folded does it have to be folded yes 
you can probably carry it in a sling around and then you can have the display and then your keys hands are free for you to do anything and then if the display is properly positioned you can have a look at it that is where and then in the case of harsh environments when you close it you can make it such that it is off and relatively free of any other things. Ah. Some of you may be familiar with Bang and Olufsen's stark simplicity of products. Things are just black, but then if you see a Bang and Olufsen uh, what do you call an audio system or anything you suddenly feel thrilled saying it avoids lot of clutter. Why do we need the clutter at all? So, we have a concept of a product here which is clean. You see here while it makes sense in that connection you see the beauty of this here this keypad itself no already this is a very old thing maybe this uh, particular thing oh it is listed here 83. 34 years back this gentleman um, conceived this product long 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 ago and the important thing is you see you have a right uh, group and a left group and they are all spaced in the middle. So, already we are one step ahead. Secondly, keys have spherical tops little bit of a what you call a tactile uh, feeling about it. If it is absolutely flat you cannot see whether you are on the key or the next key, but otherwise intuitively your mind will know that uh, your finger is slipping on the wrong key if it is lower than the other things. So, things are getting better more and more and more uh, concepts here. One of the early what you call handheld devices. Now, we come back to a really interesting interesting and interesting products more and more and more and more and all are coming here. I do not know whether I have uh, finished enough time, but this is one of those costly phones. Hmm? We know Nokia as a mass market manufacturer and some of us may also have heard of this thing called Virtu. I do not know how they pronounce it kindly. Mine is a highly accented and uh, harsh uh, pronunciation kindly I mean my apologies for it, but I will call it a virtue. Virtue they have made it such that it conveys value and you see here there is a fantastic small picture here. What could this be? Succeeding slides will show you coming slides we have a detail of uh, you know how the various things look like. Most important is you see here back is made of leather real actual leather. So, if I tell you a saddle stitch you will understand what a saddle stitch is once upon a time saddle stitch meant that it is strong. That is even if somebody were to keep it for rough riding it will not wear out and it is visible. Saddle stitch is a little like what you have in jeans, but much coarser and the pitch and all is different and things look this thing. If you are one of those people you caught it, I think you got it now. Have a look at it. Already it is meant for frequent flyers and the high flyers saying these cues if you patent them it is unlikely that people will be able to just like that copy them and uh, make them inside. So, Vertu continues to be <laughs> the jet set nice somehow I enjoy it like that though I cannot afford it and probably I would rather buy 10 of ordinary phones and one Vertu hats off to the person who thinks on these lines. Now, if you look 
carefully leather does not actually come in blue have you ever seen any blue leather, but we have one here. Leather comes in leather color and leather comes in leather texture and finally, we have phones which are probably diamond studded does it people ask does it still get a dial tone, dial tone does not seem to be the main problem there. <laughs> See pure gold absolutely gold and it is not as if people have forgotten our old phones, we still have the old phone at one time it made sense to have a cover like this. So, that you slide the cover in this if you want you can add a little value by changing a color and then uh, try to make something which is much much more attractive. These things are back absolutely just like uh, people add a tattoo. I am against piercing, but tattoo is something very safe. Phones are personalized you see here this personalization has not gone away much, it is there forever. You can buy a back, you can buy a front, you can buy a fitted cover, you can have screen printed anything you want because personalization is real, people like to play a lot of time and then sometimes concepts work out, sometimes they do not work out. What started as all this thing where you can you know what you call close it and uh, try to make it look like a camera and all really never caught on. This is where next stage of what is called model making helps. If you just make a product and put it in the market it may or may not sell, but however, if you make some physical models and then, then try it on a target consumers, I will avoid the word target audience if you try it on a consumers, take their opinion of course, people are waiting to pass an opinion I would not say their judgmental are opinionated it is just that when you ask better listen, but then observe them what they talk and how they talk. Very easily you can make out that some features are more important they are taken better and so on this is the same ordinary phone and suddenly you have seen what it does. Something have been added, subtracted, something has been done and things suddenly look very, very good. So, there is a generation which enjoyed the original Austin Mini and then we all know what Audi or BMW does and then we all know various other manufacturers have a feature. I do not know whether I should stop this here and you see here that this is typically a small uh, what do you call lamp. This lamp will uh, I forgot to bring it probably in the next class I will bring this lamp and show you. The beauty is the lamp has not been made yet, not at all. Somebody has written all the features about how it should look, how much it should cost. You have seen here, no? They have used a word like light is concentrated by the shape of the shade. It is an abstraction. You did not call it a parabolic reflector because already the word parabolic reflector has a tendency to put you off because you are using words which uh, feel threatening. I enjoy in fact, I can make a difference between a as I said no paraboloid versus ellipsoid and uh, something and something, but not everybody and then you see here again if you see here the stem is flexible it allows the person to use it to direct the light. Base will be large and heavy stands up and will not fall down. The lamp is aimed at the student market you see, most important is that the lamp is aid, aimed at the student market. In the case of a place like India or several other places, power failure is common. I am repeating power failures are very common for us. So, 
we get these lamps in India already with a built in backup battery. So, you just need to plug it in and uh, your uh, ideas thoughts are not disturbed if the power fails. Some ambient noise may reduce and all that and then the power takes a little time to what you call latest is probably it will take uh, half an hour or earliest it will be maybe in a 5 minutes you have a backup which is there. So, <coughs> right now suddenly in our market backup is important. You have seen it in our situations where the power of this thing backup is important. Now, you will also see there is a beauty here the switch is ergonomically designed so that it is easy to use. While the word is a little um, what do you call <laughs> overused we know what it means meaning it should be handy and uh, not too much of power is required uh, I am sorry effort is required to switch it on and accidentally you do not switch it on and you know the states when it is on and when it is off and so on. This is well the amount of the effort involved in trying to operate the devices there in which direction should be top up and down or should be back and forward should be a slider should be a rotating knob. And equally important is you see here something called a 60 watt bulb because it is an old thing this also is about uh, maybe 25 years old at one time <laughs> when we specified uh, luminaries we talk about the watts. Typically the wattage is you know somewhat loosely proportional to the amount of light that we need around uh, 30 to 50 lumens per watt was more than sufficient. But then the unwanted thing says a 60 watt incandescent bulb probably dissipated 59.999 watts all around as heat. So, we end up very important issue it should not get hot accidentally if it touches nothing should happen. We have brightness fortunately today we have the so called uh, light emitting diode type of bulbs which are little softer. So, in the long run everything is being I mean changed over and see the thing very important things is already the designer has thought about the type of materials that need to be used, but more for its characteristics rather than for the actual when he says aluminum, aluminum comes in numerous grades. One of them can be light, but then uh, still it is not stiff enough. Some of them are very stiff and very good, but very expensive like 6 and uh, I mean 6000 and 7000 series uh, aircraft alloys. And then very loosely the word plastic is used here. So, shade is made from plastic, but then if you put a what you call 60 watt uh, <laughs> heat emitting instead of a light emitting diode we have a heat emitting incandescent uh, bulb inside chances are it will get deformed. So, we have things which are added to this more and more. I think at this point I will stop and try to continue the lecture next time along with the lamp which I try to bring. So, thank you I hope uh, we continue to stay in touch bye.